What's up? It's Jack here. I shaved and I'm sorry for that. I should have warned you. Today we're talking about this one. This is the analog vibrato pedal from BYOC Kits. Uh, it's not a necklace right now. The other one's a necklace. You'll notice it's not a necklace because I, well, I don't have a good reason for you, but I'm going to start using it and you'll see why it's not a necklace maybe. So here it is. It's on right now. On. So actually it wasn't on right there, but I'm going to turn it on right now. Hello. No, you know, I didn't really create it at all. I put together a kit that was produced by some people that, that did all the hard work and they found all the components and made the enclosure. They, all I did was really put it together. That was so fun. Uh, I'm going to show you that part. And then we're also going to talk about what it can do, what it can do. Okay, here we go. The part of the video where we go through the process of putting the kit together. I think I'm gonna screw up the video though, or it may already be screwed up, so you'll just need to let me know. Um, and then right here, I'm blocking the air conditioner, so it's gonna get warm, it's gonna get hot. If you find yourself overheated, um, watching me, or just because of your own situation, you're gonna to wanna to take a break. Start with the resistors because, um, you know, they're the smallest component and they're the most annoying, naturally. This came with a whole lot of different types of resistors, thankfully. Now, okay, now this one, they're messing with us for sure. We got a brown, brown, black, green. I mean, is that even green? You know, are you are you messing with me? I mean, they tell me that that's, for example, that's purple, for example. I'm gonna put that one back. We're gonna keep, keep on going. So as a viewer, you might be thinking, Jack, you just spent 10 minutes, you know, wasting your time. But I would say, you know, I'm learning. So, you know, I didn't tell you, but there is an alternative route. Using a digital multimeter, you can actually check impedance resistance. Um, oh, we'll just, we'll start doing that. Recently watched a video about resistors. For being everywhere, I didn't really understand how many different types and forms there were. So that was pretty interesting. And boom, cardinal out of nowhere. So I put all the resistors in and now it's time to solder. All right, and here's a dove for you. So at this point, I had most of the basic parts of the board put together and it was time to add in the other components, the switches, the audio jacks, and I just didn't record any of that. So we're jumping ahead now to the final switch. The switch is the switch that the foot would press that activates or deactivates the pedal. And there's, it's probably the trickiest part. There's a bunch of um, small connections you need to make and they kind of recommend doing it with the pedal already in the kind of in the enclosure that gray box is the enclosure so it just ends up being a lot trickier i ended up having to really take my time and use short wires and ended up redoing it a couple times for this kit so it's ready i plug it in power it up nothing happens 
Several hours later, I discover these two resistors on the board. 4.7, 4,700, 47,000. These two resistors were the source of my trouble. Checking the colors, we see that the difference there that led to all this trouble, brown and red. That is the only difference between these two resistors. Looking on the board itself, you see a brown band, a red band. They are just they are just so similar that it it's inexplicable. It's unforgivable. And I changed them around and it worked. You, you, you made me wondering, wondering. You know, which I, what are you, what, what, now what are you gonna do with that? Now what? Well, now what? Now what? Are you gonna do with that? And I'll tell you the same answer I told you for the last time. And here's something, something soon.